Great, I'm gonna now show you the two ways that you can connect to this microphone. Let's start with the first one where you're connecting this to the computer. Comes shipped with the SRMV7000 is this USB-C cable. Get it out of the box. Turn to the bottom of the SRMV7000 and connect this end to this USB port here. And simply connect the other end of the USB-C to a USB port. And the microphone is powered on now through the USB interface. Select your polar pattern. The one I'm using now would be the cardioid mode. And I'll show you what you need to do on your computer now. Depending on your computer's operating system, you should be good to go. If it's not, head on to this website and download the latest driver. And since I'm using the Mac OS X, my computer doesn't need a driver, so it's good to go. Head on to your system preferences and look for sound. Look for input. As you can see, it comes in as a USB audio device. Click on that. And then head on to your favorite audio recording and editing interface or app. In my case, I use Audacity. Make sure that the input is USB audio device as such. Click record. Butterflies, beautiful and fleeting. And one of my favorite features of the SRMV7000, the analog interface, which will allow you to work without using a computer, connecting to your favorite field mixer. I'll show you how to do this now. Included right out of the box with the SRMV7000 is this very unique and useful cable, a five pin, to a stereo output XLR cable. So as you can see, it's connected down to the interface here. This is the five pin port. And with this, this will go to your field mixer. And to demonstrate, I'm gonna be connecting the SRMV7000 to one of my favorite field mixer, the Ceremonic SRAX107. If you look at the field mixer, at the back, we have two XLR port. And this is gonna be easy to use because red is right and white is left color-coded R to R. So all you need to do now is to turn on the power to the field mixer, but if you look carefully, the mic is not powered on. That's because it depends on the phantom power that's coming out from this field mixer. All you need to do is go to your favorite field mixer and adjust this to phantom power. At 48 volt, you can actually see the microphone goes to live. I did promise earlier on to teach you about phantom power. What is it? Phantom power is called phantom power because apart from just delivering audio through the XLR cable, phantom power allows 48 volt of electricity to go through the same XLR cable into your microphone. So that's why it's called phantom power. It's kind of like a phantom embedded within the XLR cable. So the XLR cable now does two things, delivering audio to your field mixer. And the field mixer is also quietly delivering 48 volt of electricity to power up your microphone. And what's left now, connect your headphone to your field mixer and slowly turn on the volume. And we are live. Butterflies, beautiful and fleeting. <laughs>